Okay, we're rolling. And this is. Hello, Mona. This is my private video. <laughs> you know, let me just sort the light. I spent ages trying to set up the lighting. Okay. So you turn it on. And this is what you get. Let's see if I could just zoom in there. Ah, the lighting's terrible. Yeah. No, you should be able to make that out. Ah. Okay, so you get this. So first you need to get your samples in there. So <laughs> I'm just gonna be chopping brakes. If you weren't watching, I'd be really quick at this. Okay. Right. One minute. Okay. So, play. So, first you need to copy them about three times. So, sample edit and then to copy your samples you have to name them first. So, I think for the first one I'll just rename it. So, I just know that's a one. Rename. Okay, so now I'm going to actually copy them. So, name to copy. Name. So now I've got three aimants the same. I'll just delete all these waveforms. So yeah, three aimants all the same. Now you just chop them. So start point. Might as well to save memory. And then sample edit and then go scroll to two. And then these group buttons just as shortcuts to get to the more important pages. So you don't have to keep pressing that all the time, you can just these get to the most important pages like normalize and start point, the loop. So it just makes it quicker, you know. So when you go to sample edit, you can just hit group four times and you're there. <laughs> so second cut, I'll cut from. Now the third one.
Oops, no one did. Cut. Yeah. So that was easy. So. And then you just hit single, edit. And this is your first program, so you might want to rename it. Yeah, I know it's a daemon, but just for this video. And then you want to get, th I've got three samples, so I need to get three key groups. So, find, go, there it is. And again, the group just um, gets the most important pages. So, five presses of that and you get to the, the key group bit. So copy these and you s select your key group with this outer wheel so we can have all or your first and second and third so C3 to C3 and then get to two. Oh, oh actually the quickest way is to go all make them all C3 what that all does it makes makes it's all the same settings for each key group it should, that should have worked yeah so when you go to all it will do it for each key. It will do it for each key group. Look. So, see. So that's quite handy. Anyway. C sharp. D. Then. The next one in the um, group is your where you set assign the sample to that key group. So so now when I hit the keyboard, it should do it. You notice it goes up in pitch on like your standard keys, so the trick here is to get to uh, where is it? Oh, it's not in the um, groups, it is keyboards. Oh, where is it? I thought it was near the end. Ah, oh, there it is. It's a keyboard track, so it's either your normal pitch across the keyboard or constant pitch, so each note you press is the same note, but you want it on each key group, so all, then constant, so each key group is now the same pitch and that's it really um, so It's the same. It's the same with anything. You you get to your envelopes. So you hit all, and then just 
change some envelope settings. You're familiar with um, Attack Decay's this sustain release, I'm sure. So that's got a really um, short decay. But on each key group, so it's, a, it's the same settings for each one. Uh, okay, we don't want that. And to make a new program, you have to hit name and then let's say we had like base copy. So we've now got two programs, but they're, they're copies, so this one will be exactly the same as the aiming program so then you just select base program and do your different things in there oh, no. so, yeah. oops could be in single Something funny with um ah yeah. Now if we go to that we can just do it for we can just change the pitch for one key group so that's uh up, that one now but this all oh, it will do it for each one so just check that it's done it i'm sure it has yeah so Now, here's my diagram of basically what I've just been saying to you. Those zones are just layers, so you can layer up samples in a key group. So that's just one program that has you there. Uh, MIDI channel and the name of the program. And there's your different key spans for each key group C, C sharp, and D. A different sample in each one. Up to four sound, different samples in each key group. And that's it, really. But just make sure that all your programs are on one. And then whichever, uh, that could be any one you want, but make sure that's one. Okay, bye, good luck.